and welcome to the Digital Information Literacy Show with Ms. Stolarski, the Library Fisher, and Frederick the... Wait a minute. No, that's not right. Frederick, did you mess with my script again? I'm sorry about that. Frederick's my script writer, and I'm Ms. Stolarski, the librarian. And today, we're going to learn how to sort our results in Google. As humans, we love the easy way. So we like to look at only the first 10 results. But what if the best information is on another page? Frederick, how can a website get to the first page of Google results? There are a few ways to get on the front page, including the number of times the website was clicked on, paying for advertising, and using certain words and tags. So, our folks have to use information literacy to assess and decide if it's good. That's right. As we know, Google likes keywords and phrases, so let's do a search and pretend we're doing a project on biomes. I'm going to pick the tundra. I'm going to type in the word tundra, but because I know that tundra is also a type of truck, and if I just type in tundra, I'll get truck results, I'm going to throw in the word biome. Now, there is a beautiful little button called Search Tools. I click on this. I can click on the words anytime, and I can decide when I want my article published by. This is very good if you're looking up a current event, or if you're looking up news, or if you're just fact-checking something funky you saw on the internet. So I only want articles published within the past month. And I can take my research a step farther. I could sort by relevance, or I could sort by date. So if I knew there, there was something in the world, in the tundra, that happened a few days ago or very recently, I could have it come up and it would show up at the top. So we've got one hour ago, two hours ago. It may not be the best information, which is why I prefer to sort by relevance. Relevance is how related it is. And there's one more way to search. You can search by all results or the word verbatim. Verbatim means word for word. So this would be if you're looking for a phrase or a quote or something super specific that has multiple words. To recap, today we covered sorting by date and sorting by relevance. Keep using those good searching skills because bad information literacy leads to bad decisions. 